For the next 30 days, we're gonna add 10 pounds of muscle to our bodies. At least I hope so, because that's the title of the video. I am so confident that I'm gonna win this. If you beat me, if you put on more muscle in 30 days. Which I will. $500 bonus. Oh, okay. I'm not giving you anything if you win. So we measured our weight, our height. <laughs> <laughs> Five foot seven, three inch nose. We went to the local gym and used this expensive machine that tells you your body fat and most importantly, how many pounds of muscle we had on day one. All right, now it's time for the before picture. Okay. You're up first. All righty. You got to take your shirt off. I have to take my shirt off? Yeah, they got to see how much muscle you put on I'm after 30 taking my shirt You're off. taking your shirt off. I don't want to. This is humiliating. All right, we have all the measurements. The before pictures are taken. 30 days starts now. All right, so I just woke up on day one. I am so sore from that workout last night, but overall I feel pretty good. So I'm gonna be approaching this video from three sides. I'm gonna be eating very healthy and high in protein. I'm gonna be working out almost every day and I'm gonna be sleeping a lot because I know you build muscle while you're sleeping. I wonder what Steve's doing. That right there, that's calories. And that's what you want for building muscle. So I went to the grocery store yesterday and I found this box of cereal that's supposed to be very healthy. It's like low sugar, high protein, low carbs. It, it, it was like $10, which is absolutely absurd. It also looks like the Captain Crunch peanut butter, which is my favorite cereal I've ever had. I'm gonna give this thing a shot. I eat cereal every morning. So if I could find something that's healthier, perfect. Here we go. The world's healthiest bowl of cereal. That is horrible. I knew this first week was gonna be by far the hardest, but I'm starting to get into a good routine. So one thing I forgot to mention, I am eating healthy throughout this entire month. And by that, I mean I gave up ice cream and all dessert, which is really, really hard. Instead of ice cream, I've been eating protein shakes. It's gonna be a long 24 days to go. So it's the morning after Thanksgiving. I ate so much food last night. I I'm pretty sure I'm still full, but I have a confession to make. I cheated a little bit on my diet. It was Thanksgiving, but I had like seven slices of apple pie and pumpkin pie last night. Still haven't had ice cream. I'm in the bathroom. I'm stepping on the scale. Now this isn't gonna tell me how much muscle I've gained or lost, but I just wanna see my weight. Okay, I've either gained two and a half pounds of muscle in the last 10 days, or I found a way to eat like three pounds of food yesterday at Thanksgiving. At least there's protein in turkey. Steve and I just got done with a workout. How you feeling? Strong. Wow. Yeah. So I mentioned it earlier, but we went to the local gym on day one and they did this analysis on our whole body. I mean, it gave us body fat, weight, height, uh, the amount of muscle we have in each arm and leg. Attractiveness. Uh, it doesn't have that one on there. Mine was through the, through the roof. That's weight. Oh. Still drinking beer? Yeah, beer, burgers, <laughs> you know. You gotta recover. It's carbs. You need carbs for recovery. You need calories. That's how you build. See. Look at the results. Did you just tell a bunch of kids that you need to drink <laughs> beer to put on muscle? <laughs> Don't listen to that advice. So I found out pretty quickly in this challenge that I do not eat healthy lunches. I eat chicken nuggets, mac and cheese, peanut butter and jelly, stuff like that. So I bought one of these like George Foreman grills. It's not actually a George Foreman grill, but it was cheaper on Amazon. And I've been buying like chicken breasts, brown rice and vegetables and trying to have that as a lunch. It's higher in protein and it's definitely a lot healthier than chicken nuggets. I wonder what Steve's eating. 
So it's officially the final week of this 30 day challenge. It's also almost Christmas. I, Sam and I literally got like the world's worst Christmas tree. It had nothing to do with this video, but I figured I'd share. So one of the most important parts of building muscle is nutrition. And one of the biggest pieces of nutrition is protein. Well, I realized I don't eat anywhere near enough protein. So this is my morning routine every single day now. I start off by boiling some water. After the water's hot, I take it off, pour it in my shaker bottle, grab a nice big scoop of protein powder and shake it up. Ugh, it's not exactly chocolate milk, but it's got a lot of protein. All right, the final workout is done. Let's go get those results. No, 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 not so fast. Before we go to the gym, we have to take the after picture. Oh, Remember right. we took the shirtless picture before and looked like you know, terrible. So I have to take my shirt off. Now again. you gotta take your shirt off again. So we're gonna try to have the lighting the same. We're gonna try to stand in the same spot so we're not cheating in any way. Uh, I, I think it was right about here. Sounds good. All right. <laughs> I'm not flexing. <laughs> I think I was standing like that. As weird as I feel staring at a picture of Steve with no shirt on, you could actually tell a difference, especially in his chest and his abs. I'm not flexing either. These aren't the most scientific pictures of all time, but honestly, I think both of us got bigger. Time to go to the gym and actually see who gained the most muscle. We're back from the gym, the results are in. We specifically asked them not to tell us, so they put them in these envelopes. This is yours. Oh, thank this you. This is mine. One thing I wanna say really quickly, it takes longer than 30 days to actually get into good shape, so I'm gonna try to keep going. Maybe I'll have a little bit of ice cream, but I'm gonna try to cut back on the sweets, continue working out. Good for you, that's are a good you, Are you done? No, I'm done. I'm You're done. done. <laughs> so in the beginning of the competition, I had 67 pounds of muscle, and you had 78.7 .7 pounds of muscle. Keep in mind, if Steve B Beats me 500 bucks. 79.4. 79.4, so you gained 0.7 pounds of muscle. Is that good? I don't know. We'll find out what <laughs> mine is. 70.1 pounds. I gained three and a half pounds of muscle. Three and a half pounds of muscle. 500 bucks stays in my pocket. <laughs> <laughs> 